It's menthol soap and it's f***ing amazing. I found out about menthol after getting into shower steamers and it just feels great on your body. It's way different than any other soap that you've tried. All right, 145 grams a lie. Uh, I ran this through soap calc with some oils that I had, and this is what it spit out. I think it's a 5% super fat. Pretty standard, it's what I usually do. So like I said, first thing I weigh out my lye in my water. I'm using distilled water, not because I'm bougie, but because I got it for free from somebody else. I don't think it matters what kind of water you use. And again, add the lye to the water. If you don't, things are going to get messy. And this is what they actually use to melt bodies down. Like you could dispose of a body in a, a tub of lye water. Anyway, it gets really hot. Do it outside. The fumes are bad for you to breathe in. Give it a good mix. Now I'm weighing out my oils. I went with 300 grams of rice bran. Again, because I had it. I didn't buy it. I got it for free. And I want to see how it works in the soap. I think it's going to work like they all do. And then some vegetable oil. Who knows what's in it? Is it soy? Is it canola? I just put a mix in my calc of 50-50. And then coconut. It's classic for soap. It's still cheap at Costco. I just love how it hardens up the bars. And it's great. Now the menthol. This is the cool part. Look at how shiny those are. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Fuck. Um, this is how it comes in crystal form. It's supposed to be a skin irritant, so don't touch with your hands. I'm going with 10 grams, which is 1%. Uh, allegedly, you can go between one and two and a half. So I thought I would start light. So I got a thousand grams of oils. That's 10 grams of menthol. And then what I do is I add essential oils into the menthol to dissolve it. You've got to microwave it after that. So you put your essential oils in your menthol, microwave it for about 15 seconds, you're good to go. 15 grams of eucalyptus. This gives our total fragrance load up to 25 grams, which is like two and a half percent. Should be pretty safe there. And that's what it looks like. Uh, as colorants, I'm using this lime green mojito from Candora and classic titanium dioxide, which I love the color it gives, but I hate working with it. All right, now is when things get soapy. Uh, pour your lye water into your oils and then hit it with the stick blender. So I hit it pretty light with the stick blender, a very, very light trace because menthol is supposed to speed up trace like most minty types of things do. So just enough to get a super, super light trace. And then I wanted to split my batch because I'm doing a green and a white mix or swirl. So here we go. Like it's basically watery. Oh yeah. Then I add my fragrance in. It's the same old, same old, right? Dump it in. And from here on out, I do hand mixing because the stick blender really accelerates trace. So time is of the essence. And I've been having tons of problems with my soaps tracing super quick. If anybody has any ideas on that, let me know. I used to be able to pour like all these crazy swirls. Now everything's clumpy and I hate my life. Okay, so I split it up into two. Um, you could see in the plastic container that it's already, like see the top of it? Yeah, that arrow's gonna point it out for us. It's already starting to hit a bit more trace. And I think that's the menthol. So as far as uh, colorants, I just kind of freehand it. I'm doing like a teaspoon per 500 grams of oil, something around there. And uh, like I said, I love using titanium dioxide. I don't love using it. I love the color that it gives, but I hate working with it because you can't, it doesn't mix well. So you got to hit it with a stick blender, which makes it trace crazier. You can see the green I'm going to do fully by hand and I'm not going to have any issues. Watch this titanium dioxide. I try to mix it like I'm some kind of noob and I'm like, what's going on here? Super clumpy. So I'm panicking. I got to get out the stick blender, start hammering them with that. And of course it's going to thicken up a lot quicker. Not too quick though, but it just always happens. But the white is so crazy. You can't get it with anything else. You got to use it. All right. So I got that all mixed in. Now I'm going to come back to the green and uh, do the rest by hand. I like this green a lot. It gives a really just like a green color. Uh, maybe avocado guacamole, a little brighter, more, a bit more neon-y, not too crazy though. And you don't need a lot of it. It mixes in well, it colors great. All right, so I got my batch split, two colors, fragranced. I'm just gonna go back and forth with the green and white, nothing too crazy. Start with the green, pour the white on, and you'll see the green pours out nicely and the white comes out kind of clumpy. It's thickened up a lot. So just back and forth, back and forth, nothing too crazy here. I just wanted to have, um, I always like doing at least two colors, a single colored soap. Eh, it's like, what's the point? Step your game up, bruh. Okay, so it's all poured in now. Got the spatula, getting the rest out. And then the green, I'm getting a little bit of a mess here. Scooping it out with a spoon is so frustrating. It doesn't do anything. Anyway, it's all out here. So next thing I do is I jiggle it down a bit to try and get rid of all the air pockets. And then I do whatever kind of swirl I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna take a chopstick and do some circles and lines. This won't really do much to the inside of the soap, but it does do a way nicer pattern on top. 
Um, yeah, I mean, it turned out pretty good. The colors look great. Uh, it's scented well, too. Jiggle it down. And then here's the next day. I always cut my soap in 24 hours. Sometimes I should wait a little longer. This one was good to cut in 24 hours. It hardened up nicely. It wasn't too hard that I couldn't cut it. So I get it out of the mold. There's my nice block, my brick. It looks good. No issues. Cured up fine. Now I'm using one of these cutters where it cuts everything at once. And I like it. I like that I do one cut and everything gets cut. But it's surprisingly hard to cut with. Like it's really hard to push this down through the soap. Maybe I'm getting weaker and softer. I just take my time with it, set it up, push it down, start working it. If you let your soap set up for too long and then try and cut it with this, it's going to be tricky. I'm always afraid the strings are going to snap and poke me in the eye. It didn't happen. It cut through fine. Uh, the soap turned out great. It looks awesome. The white's got this cool crackle effect. I love menthol and soap. Give it a shot. I'll, I'll be making a ton of menthol soap now. I love the feeling of it. Makes you feel great, clean. Try it out. Let me know.